Hi, Tennessee. It's good to have, work back with you. You're super talented. Would you sing a song, country western song with me about our two boys, Tim and Eric? Very talented guys that help us get a lot of employment. Why, yes, I do. I want to thank you, Tim and Eric, for making my career succeed. I want to thank you boys for a growing career, growing bigger than a large seed. They gave us a chance to share our voice with the whole wide world. They gave us a chance to grow bigger than a little girl. So thank you, t &E. I've blossomed like a tree. For all the world to see, you help me be me. Tim and Eric make Cartoon Network with the best adult swim show. They bring the joys, not the blues, with the music and the comedy you know. I want to thank you, Tim and Eric, for making me your chocolate swirl. Sharing good music and comedy with every boy and girl. So thank you, t &E. I I blossom like a tree for all the world to see. You help me be me. Came to me, oh mercy on oh, me, when failure dropped me to my knees. Pulled me out of a personal hell, treated me better than Gary Marshall. Awesome show and nightlife and rule. Now I love David and I love them for making me a winner too. So thank you, t &E. I blossom like a tree for all the world to see. Help me be me. Best wishes to T and E and John C. Riley. Welcome to I Love David, where all are accepted and none are rejected. All races, all people, all religions, all creeds, all sexes, gay, straight, bi, whatever. The topic of this show is comedy. All about Tim and Eric. What got me into comedy is I had a wonderful, funny dad. He could make up comedy lines on the spot. Dad used to say, you know, people smoke remind me of dragons and steam engines. They know how to, uh, they, 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 they know how to let it all hang out. I've been doing comedy for many years. Um, I got in a comedy workshop. I took comedy classes at the comedy store that taught me how to be a part of a big show. The first time I started to work for Tim and Eric, I got a call from Ben Berwin. He was a comical Jewish guy, producer, and they asked me to bring my puppet, Jason the Cat, and Tim and Eric asked me to do a comedy skit about Martians. And there was the birth of a relationship of 12 years. Tim and Eric are brilliant geniuses of comedians, and I just wish they would branch out to big media like CBS, NBC. Tim and Eric remind me of that what was the name of that Ben and Jerry that made the ice cream company? Ben and Jerry? What, what's the group that made the ice cream company in Vermont? Ben and Jerry. Tim and Eric remind me of Ben and Jerry. Their ice cream reminds me of Tim and Eric's comedy. It's great. It's wonderful. It's the best ice cream I had, the best comedy I've seen. But I truly wish you could have cast me and, 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 and bedtime stories. You said you were gonna write me in and then you never put me in there. And people, I'm gonna be honest with you, Tim and Eric, the fans wanna see more of me. Tim and Eric, I just wanna let you 
no, I love you and I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. And I'm sorry if sometimes I talk shit about you, but I still love you like these two sons I never had. I can gush about these guys all day, but I don't want to hog them. Today I'm going to talk with two talented people that worked on the Tim, with Tim and Eric. Scott Clam, and Michael T. Smith, he's been an oldie but goodie with Tim and Eric, all from their first show, Tom Goes to the Mayor. I'm actually a Scott Stewart. I thought your name was Scott Clam. Yeah, some people think that way, but I don't mind. Well, now we know the naked truth about the real Scott Clam. We both have something in common, we both like trains. Yeah. I hope you looked at my original trains. I own those, even though they're on the set. Yeah. Okay, and what was your favorite moment working with Tim and Eric? You, Mr. Smith, you've been with him for a long time. Yes, thank you. It was when they called me to come do the Raise My Roof Dance. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about having a naked person on my show because I'm, I'm a member of the Christian Science Church and most of them are Republican and they don't understand liberal things. We're just as God made us. Well, that's beautiful and I'm proud of you being who you are. I love you just the way you are. As Jackie Gleason would say, you're the greatest. A lot of fun. Okay, you, uh, I, uh, your, your favorite moment working. Hmm. There's... Well, they made you famous. And that's true. And they gave you work from SAG after. That's something to be grateful for. They did the that's same for me. Very true. Yep. Okay. Talk a little bit how much you love Tim and Eric as friends. As friends. That was quite entertaining. Uh, it's been quite a education. Wonderful. I like Tim, but they're both great guys. Oh, Eric is more conservative, more Republican. Tim is more liberal than them. Oh, hang out. I know what you mean. I can tell you some fun things that Tim and I, Tim and Eric had on the trip. Uh, Tim and Eric would party heavy on. They were. They make. I taught me to really enjoy life when I went on tour with them. Really let it all hang out. I didn't drink or smoke, but I enjoyed partying with them. Okay. No. The Billion Dollar Movie. No. Uh, we, both, we, we both were in it, weren't we? I never, I never got to work on I'm it. I'm sorry. I know someone I who did. I know you would have been great in it. Well, I hope that Tim and Eric do A Billion Dollar Movie, too, and have you on it. And, and uh, weren't you in it? No. Well, I'm sorry you weren't in it. I was the caboose. I was the end of the movie. But, you know, I am grateful for everything Tim and Eric have done for me. I just... Love the diversity and the love and the creativity Tim and Eric have. They're super talented producers, and I'm more than honored and to work with them. They treated me better than Gary Marshall. They just gave me a chance. I have to do a lot of forgiving about him. Back then, uh, Gary Marshall was producing Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley. When Gary Marshall first was going to give Robin Williams a break, he says, I don't want to do anything for your Daffy Duck friend, David Liebehart. And I was offended by that because it, it had some racial tones to it, me being black and Daffy Duck being black. And then Robin Williams at the time says, if my best friend David can't be a part of the show, then I don't want to be a part of the show. Gary Marshall says, I'll let David do intern work on the show and I'll eventually cast him into the show. But he never did. Speaking of Robin Williams, you were a great friend to me. We lived together. together. Robin Williams and I used to do gardening and yard work for a lot of famous entertainers that owned homes in the Hollywood Hills. We started doing stand-up comedy together. First place we went to was the comedy store that Mitzi used to own. And, and there I saw Robin Williams get his big break. Robin Williams, you were a great friend to me.
I'm sorry I have a stink machine. I do some stand-up comedy, but I fart so much. <laughs> I let the volcano ass go out. <laughs> what did you get on your omelet this morning, David? Uh, I don't know what she put. She put a she put atomic bomb in my omelet. I've had to fart <laughs> like I like I got like I get the, the, the stinky skunks in me. I ought to do some stand-up comedy about this. <laughs> I'm sure. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 